Yeah, hey, Woodsuck here again. Hope everyone's doing okay. I'm doing something a little different this time. I'm uh, making a suet feeder out of a silver map maple branch. Uh, yeah, it's been drying out for a couple of years and it's totally crack free. It's a really nice piece of wood. I'm going to leave the bark on for the most part so the birds can uh, have something to grip on. more like a miniature style suet feeder, but here I'm using spade bits and uh, old school brace. Gonna get this done real quick first, and then after that, I'm gonna put the, like a hawk head on top, and then screw a little hook on the top so you can hang it by a tree branch. Just doing some old school style drilling here with the brace. Yeah, it's always good to try uh, hand tools instead of relying on power tools. You never know when the power goes out, so it's really nothing to it, though. Well, these are spade bits you can buy them anywhere at the hardware store. They come usually with a pack of assorted different sizes as a 7A size, so it's perfect for this kind of branch. And this is going to be outdoors, so it's going to be uh, exposed to the elements. So I'm going to put a face up here. And you just load up the suit in these holes here. I didn't go all through all the way through because it's easier to pack. You just put it in there. If you had to go through, it would push out the other side. It's more difficult to load. So and then we'll have a hook on the very top here. Hang it by a by a piece of wire on a tree limb or something like that. So, so let's get a, let's get carving, bro. Yeah, I sped the video up here. It's probably six X speed, hyper, hyper lapse. But anyway, um, when it's all said and done, the project took probably about an hour and a half real time. So, yeah, it's not really nothing to this project. It's uh, I'm not going to make a super detailed face up here. And I'm using existing branch, micro branch that came off the main branch. I'm going to use that for the the hawk's peak right there and uh, make it a lot easier for me instead of removing more excess wood than I need to. It's always good to not throw out all the branches if you've cut some trees down or something like that. Just put some aside. These things come in handy. For, for little projects like this. And uh, this uh, silver maple is really nice to work with. It's a uh, high quality wood. Usually it doesn't have any problems whatsoever. 
Plus the drill bits like them a lot too. And I'm just doing the rough out phase right here with the saber tooth burr. Got that done, so now we're gonna start focusing on refining the shapes now. So you can kind of see what it's gonna look like. It's definitely an eagle of some sorts, I'm not sure. Um, when I first started the project, I didn't know what I was gonna make, so. I saw that branch sticking out, and I thought, hey, you know, that'd be a good idea to make a a beak for a bird or something like that, since uh, this is a bird suet feeder after all, so it makes, it makes sense. Yeah, I'm just uh, putting the eyes in on the hawk. And uh, like I said, this is not going to be very super detailed. Just going to have the basic uh, basic shapes and stuff like that. I'm not going to go super crazy getting all the feathers in and stuff. But um, I'm going to come in with a wood burner later on to do some accent work. But, um, yeah, I'm doing the nostrils here right now. I didn't even look at the pictures for this. I just kind of winged it. So some parts of the bird might not be anatomically correct. So um, I wasn't trying to achieve any super realism as it is. But it's one of those uh, quick projects I figured uh I'd toss out there and have a little fun, you know? So yeah, um, I'll have the toolkit at the end of the video if you guys want to check it out. And uh, all the tools I use for this project, so. I'm trying to do that more often these days just to help anyone out that's interested in what kind of hardware I'm using. And uh, also a new thing I've been doing is putting chapter points in. So if you want to skip around, if you're not happy with one section you always go to another instead of sitting through the whole damn video been wanting to do this project for a long time i used to do them quite a bit back in the day i did sell a few on ebay before I got really serious about this uh, YouTube stuff. But now I'm going to revisit this kind of style of uh, woodworking. And it's going to be varnished at the ends to, for protection from the outdoor elements. Yeah, I was pretty lucky I found this uh, wood burner laying around. I was kind of worried that I'd have to go ahead and buy one, but digging through the old toolbox, found it. It's not the greatest, but it does the job, you know. It's got a single tip on it. I think it's just like a knife edge on it, and that's about it. It doesn't have any fancy tips. Yeah, it brought out the accents pretty nice on the on the eagle for texture and stuff like that. I was thinking of paint painting it, but I'm just gonna leave it just like natural wood. I may cover a painting bit here in the future when I have more time, but this is just a quick one-off, you know. 
knows, I might be able to come back and revisit this one and throw some paint on the beak or something like that, but we'll see. Could be another side project. Yeah, here I'm uh, throwing a drill bit into the Dremel. Use it as a mini drill. It's kind of fun. It's like the the next step down from a one eighth. I think it's a three thirty second. I'm not sure, but um, yeah, if you're in a jam, if you ever need to drill small little holes, you can always use a a Dremel as a micro drill. It comes in quite handy. Yeah, like I said, I'm just uh, pre-drilling so I could put this uh, hanger on the top of the head. Hang her up like that, fucking right on or something. There's all kinds of shit you could do. You could throw it, just drill a hole right straight through, put a wire through it. But I just put these things out here, so. You know, we're using some polyurethane here, just gotta stir it up. It's oil based. Oil base will last longer now. Can rotate her around. I'll just brush her on there. It's gonna darken it up a bit. You could varnish the holes if you want, but I don't. Oops, sorry. You can put a couple coats on. I'm just going to put one coat on here to show you for... So there's a suet pier, pretty easy to make, not too difficult. Take a couple of hours out of your day and you're pretty much uh, good to go. But uh, thanks everyone, I appreciate you stopping by and checking out the vids. Hopefully I could uh, teach you guys some tricks and tips here and there. So. See you guys on the next one. Take care.